In this episode, we are gonna simulate splashes. First of all, we need to extract the peaks of the mesh as the source, copy the tsunami, and import it into a new geometry. Then we extract the source based on the cusp attribute, create a group. When the cusp attribute is greater than the set value, allow the points to enter into the group. Usually the tsunami collision happens in the low position. If the emission position is too high, it's abnormal, so we can limit the height. When both conditions are met, let the points enter into the group. But do not set a very low position, otherwise the tsunami will look plain with only a few splashes. For now, we set a rough height based on the buildings. Later, we'll handle its flat top caused by limiting height, and it will become lower then, so keep the height for now. Add a blast to extract the group del. Here we can convert from points to primitives. Primitives produce a larger area of source than points. Okay, we tweak cusp to control the source area. So how to determine a proper value? We mainly see the deleted areas on the mesh. If they're too small, then the distribution of the particles will be too uniform and lack details. If they're too large, it means the particles will be insufficient. So it's fine with some spaces like this. Well, let's handle the flat top issue. If the top of the source is flat, then the top of the pop simulation will also be flat, which is abnormal. So we will make it undulating. Here we can add a bound. But we need to apply these two transform nodes to the bound. Duplicate it. Toggle the template flag of this bound. This one is for moving the tsunami downward slightly. Here we can tweak their order and connect the band to transform 2. Then we export the band. Drop down in null node. Copy it. Uncheck the convex polygons, then the split edge is removed. Check the breaker polygons. The subdivision is too high by default. After all, the scene is too large. Disconnect the divide one. Increase the size. We just subdivide the lower primitive. We can see that the primitive number is 4. Reconnect them. Create a mountain. My thought is to make an undulating surface through mountain first. Then we perform a calculation between this mountain surface and the cusp group. Tweak the offset values. Set display flag on the plus one. Adjust a proper height and element size of the mountain. Let's move it up a bit. Later, we will subtract the tsunami above the mountain through group calculation, pin the current 3D view, and then lift up the lower primitive of the bound a bit. Create a group. Now we got an undulating top of the tsunami source. Here is too low, which is not what we want. Tweak the offset. Then we make a calculation between group 1 and group promote 1. Group promote 1 belongs to a primitive group, 
So we need to convert group 1 to a primitive group. We need a group transfer. Add a group combine. Only keeping primitive groups is fine. Input the name of the new group here. Select subtraction. And then set display flag to blast one. The top becomes undulated now 